Let's take a look at one more here. We're going to compare some wires again. A length of copper wire and a one meter long silver wire have the same cross-sectional area and resistance at 20 degrees C. Calculate the length of the copper wire. Well, to start off with, let's write our relationship. R is going to be equal to rho L over A. And if that's all for copper, if they have the same resistance, that must equal rho L over A for silver. All right, now they both have the same, well, let's expand this first. Let's write down this in a slightly different form. If that's all for copper, that's the resistivity of copper times the length of the copper over the cross-sectional area of the copper must equal the resistivity of silver times the length of the silver divided by the cross-sectional area of the silver. But we know that they have the same cross-sectional area, so we can multiply both sides by the cross-sectional area. Those will cancel out. And if we're looking for the length of the copper wire, let's now rearrange this to get the length of the copper all by itself. That means that the length of our copper wire is going to be equal to the resistivity of silver times the length of the silver wire divided by the resistivity of copper. Now I can substitute in my values the resistivity of silver I get from my table. That's going to be 1.59 times 10 to the minus 8 ohm meters. The length of my silver wire is 1 meter, and the resistivity of copper from my table is 1.72 times 10 to the minus 8 ohm meters. A little bit of division and calculator work, and I come up with the length of about 0 0.924 meters. Very good. All right, hopefully this gets you a good start on current and resistance. Thanks for watching educator.com and make it a great